it's Sunday. I've got the house to myself. Which means I can carry on recording. Nothing, nada, none. Let's get to it. Oh my. So, last few weeks I've been doing quite a few gigs. And this is what happens when you do loads of gigs. You, ro you walk in the room and you throw the equipment <laughs> down and then you go to bed. So I've got to get this room ship shape before I can do anything in here. So I've also been doing loads of renovations on the house. So that's why there's loads of stuff like wall strippers, sanders, toolboxes left around. That's why the walls in here look like this. It's all a work in progress. Every part of my life is a work in progress. With the use of video technology, I will now clean this room fast. That's more like it. If only you could do that in real life. So there's uh, certain things I can't do anything about, like this uh, huge pile of coats here. I literally, I've got nowhere else to put them, so it's probably gonna work out acoustically anyway. That's my excuse. Absolutely sweaty now, look at that. So it's been ages since the first episode of this. Basically had a shed load of stuff that's got in the way of creativity uh, not bad stuff though good stuff I got married in Las Vegas uh, then we drove down through California uh, all the way down to Palm Springs and then we got back and realized the house is a dump so we've been doing loads of renovations and stuff but excuses over let's get back to recording first thing I'm gonna do is listen to what we did last time and probably hate it so let's go So the guitars sound cool, the snare drum sounds nice, the kick drum sounds, it doesn't sound completely rubbish because there's a room, there's a roomy sound to it that I quite like, but it just, it's got no arse end so you can't really hear any bass to the bass drum. So what I'm going to do in Logic, you can set up like a trigger so when it picks up so when it picks up the wave of the kick drum, it re it will either replace it or add to it a note of an instrument of your choice. So I'm going to use a bass drum sound with more arse end on it, basically, to give it a bit more thump. So let's see what that sounds like. I'm not going to bore you with the process of doing that. Uh, it's basically you just click a button and then you have to go in and probably edit it because it you know you could far too close to the microphone and it would trigger, trigger a bass drum so um, I'll put a link in the description to a, a tutorial that I found on YouTube of how to do it so let's do that now and then we'll so I've just spent a bit of time doing that I've also got a little bit of a mix going on nothing major but I'll show you now what I've just done I'll show you the sound of the kick drum before and the sound of the kick drum after well, I'll, I'll show you the whole sound of the drum kit with the kick as it was before and then the kick afterwards. So let's, uh, I'll do that as a big amount and do that a little. So this is the sound of the whole kit. There's a bit of reverb on there. And then this is with that. There's no bass, there's no bass on that at the minute, but that's because I've I've took loads of the I've rolled off the the bottom end, so it sounds nothing like a kick drum. The idea of I'll show you after. So this is the sound now with the new added kick drum. And the great thing about doing that is I now have control over um, the kick drum sound. So if I want more click, I just turn one ba the real bass drum up. If I want more thwack, like the bottom end of the kick, then I'll turn the fake one up. It's as simple as that. It's quite a good way of mixing. So I think now it needs some kind of bass. I was going to do some synth bass, but... The more and more I listen to this, the more I think that it needs 
some authentic bottom end like bass guitar basically I might even try miking the bass up through an amp I've got a orange tiny Terra which is just there it's a guitar amp but it's got that it's a valve amp so it's got that sort of vintage feel I might try that first with the bass so let's have a go So the sound I'm going for, I want something a bit gritty, so that's why I'm using this amp because it breaks up very quietly. It's got a 7 watt setting, so you can sort of have distortion but at quite low levels. Uh, so now I'm going to get a sort of idea of a sound now and then put a microphone on it. So I'll, sh I'll show you how I mic up. A guitar amp or a bass amp. So now I've uh, I've had a quick jam with the song and come up with a sound. Uh, now I'm gonna mic the amp up and I'm gonna show you how I do it. I'm gonna need a good pair of headphones. I use these. Um, what are they called? I use these uh, Bayer Dynamic DT 100s, but these are good at uh, isolating sound. So. What we do now is we uh, wear the headphones, take a microphone. Uh, this one is the Aston Origin, but you can use any mic. I'm going to start with this one. If I have no joy with this, then I'll try a different microphone. But um, I'll show you what I do now. So I'll take this microphone. Here's the basic principle. I'll have the sound uh, live going through the computer into my ears. Um, I'll play a few notes on the bass. I'll basically just move the microphone around the amp and find the, basically find the sweet spot where it sounds the best. And then I'll record it and um, if it works with the song, great. If not, I can tweak it and move the, move the microphone somewhere else or adjust the settings on the amp. It's all about your ears, basically, using your ears. So uh, I'm going to do that now. Let's let's see how we get on. sounds good in the headphones so I'm gonna give a run through maybe do a take see how it sounds through the monitors and uh, go from there I think I've recorded enough there to get a good bass comp. I'm not going to do it all in one, I'm not crazy. It's 2017, mother Okay, so it's a different day. I didn't get to finish everything on Sunday. It is now, what day is it? Wednesday. And I'm going to crack on. I managed to get the bass parts all done. Um, managed to do a little mix to get them sounding half decent. I'm not going to mix the song anyway, so it doesn't really matter that much. So today I'm going to be putting some percussion down, some shakers, and uh, I'm, I've got an idea for the chorus, very, very simple sort of octave piano part. I've just got a new piano, so I want any excuse to use it. So I'm going to get really technical now. It's shaky egg time. Basically, I'm just going to do it on choruses and wherever I randomly do it, and uh, see how that sounds. Okay, that's all the percussion down now, sounding really good. Let's go downstairs and make some piano noises. Let's go. So it's time to get set up 
in here. Let's do this. And finally, microphones, leads, and stands. Okay. So, microphones wise, I will be using is these. There we go. These SE 1As. Um, I'm using these because I have two of them. So, they sound very similar and good for stereo microphones. I haven't really mic'd up a piano before, so this is sort of guesswork. <laughs> so I'm sure that the front panel actually comes off this piano. Uh, as I said, it's, as I say, it's new to me, this piano is. Uh, so I don't really know much about it, other than it smells a little bit like cigarettes. But it sounds amazing. So uh, that front panel comes off. I'm gonna try and take it off now, then try and mic it up. That was quite easy. Okay, so I just took that front panel off, but there is a slight problem, and I'll show you now. I'm not actually gonna be able to mic it up quite open, unless I flip the top up, but then I've got nowhere to have my computer. Unless, I could put it here, couldn't I? I've got a stall over there, I'll put the computer on the stall and I'll have to put the microphones going. No? Yeah, this will make this work, let's do it. Stall. There we go, problem solved. I've decided I'm going to try a technique called uh, a coincident pair, which is a stereo microphone setup and uh, it's basically, I'll easier if I just show you how to do it. So we have two microphones obviously. Um, the first one pointed so they form a right angle. So the first one this isn't how I'm gonna set up this is rough. First one set up there second one set up like that at a right angle uh, the idea re being that I get both of the cardioid uh, pickups and then they blend left and right nice and easy with uh, less phase. It can also be mono because there's no phase. I forgot to mention that earlier so this is an overdub. So let's try that. If it sounds rubbish I'll just try a stereo pair. So I've finally got the mics in position. Let's do a take, see how it sounds. That's all the piano takes done now. Next time I'm going to be tracking vocals and backing vocals so check out part 3, it will be here somewhere on this video and please subscribe about here. Thank you very much, see you next time.